When I have patients who just cannot lose weight, they do have what is called the FTO gene, which is the fat obesity um, index. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's the first gene that was found that correlates to weight. And if they have inherited two genes, one from both parents, they have a lot of difficulty trying to lose the weight because genetically, their brain doesn't have the satiation. That means when you eat, they don't feel full instantly. So any kind of lifestyle illness can be modified, right? Your disease is a combination of your genetics plus daily habits. What you have control over are your daily habits. How consistent are you with your daily choices? Your genetics are fixed, right? You can't change, but the expression of the genes, like say, for instance, me having diabetes, my genes express the diabetes, but I was able to suppress it with changing my daily habits, right? So genes are there, but do they express themselves? That's called epigenetics where you're looking at how the environment turns on that switch and says, okay, now you can express high blood pressure because we're eating a lot of sugar, we're not sleeping at night, we're drinking a lot of alcohol and caffeine, and now the blood pressure gene gets turned on.